The three functions that I want to go over, and in tandem, are the right, find, and LAN, because I need all three, a couple nested it into one, to be able to extract everybody's last name. For example, let's talk about the first function, the right function, which is the opposite of the left function, as we talked about in the previous training video. So let's type in equals ri, the first couple of letters, you can see, returns a specified number of characters from the end of a text string, meaning that it's going to start on the far right. So if I want to extract the last name, out of Max Klinger, then it's going to start in the far right and go from right to left. So when I hit the tab key to pop open the function, the first argument's in bold and it says, okay, where's the text? Go ahead and select the cell, B6, and then go to the next argument, type in comma, and then it says, okay, out of how many characters do you want to count up? Well, Klinger has a total of seven characters, so type in seven, hit enter, fabulous, which is great, but if you try to do a shortcut and say, okay, hover over the lower right hand corner to click and drag and to copy that function all the way down well not everybody has exactly seven characters in their last name so some of them are being cut off or they get the last couple letters of their first name included so that ain't gonna work let's go ahead and delete that the next function as you recall in the previous training video is the find hit equals fin there it is returns the starting position of one text string within another text string with it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open. There's the syntax, the first argument, find the text. What do we want to find? We're looking for something that separates the last name from the first name because we want to be able to get to that point and say, okay, now just give me the last name after you find that, that delimiter, that character, that separator, which is the space. So we're finding open quotes, space, close quotes. Anything in between the quotes is what it's looking for. Then go ahead and do comma to go to the next argument and it says, okay, where am I looking for this space? It's within that cell. And then just go ahead and hit enter, and it counted up a total of four. Now, the find function worked great with the left function because both of them start on the left-hand side and go from left to right. So that's why we've got one, two, three, four, gets us to that character. But it doesn't work with the right because the right goes from the far right and goes backwards. And if you count backwards, one, two, three, four, I just get N-G-E-R. So let's go to the next function, which is the len equals len, and it returns the number of characters in a text string. So it returns the complete number that makes up Max Klinger, all the characters. So with the highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open. It says, okay, what text are we looking at? It's within cell B6, hit enter, and you get a total of 11 characters. Now out of 11 characters, if we subtract four, what do you get? Hey, we get seven. That's the exact number that's in his last name, Klinger. So see if this makes sense. Let's go ahead and combine all three. Let's go to this last one here and type in equals and start with right. With it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open and it says, okay, where's the text? Well, that's over here in cell B6, comma, and then it says the number of characters. Now this is where we get a little bit fancy with our other two functions. The first thing that we want to look at is the total number, which is 11. So that's the len function, L-E-N, hit the tab key and it says okay where's that well that's over here in cell b6 again and then we need to go ahead and close the parentheses because we have the first open now we need to close it and then we're back into the right function but we need to go ahead and subtract from the total number here 11 from you guessed it the find function the result which is 4 which will give us the total of 7 so we're coming back over here and we're still within the last argument, the number of characters. So after it finds 11, then we have to subtract it from what the find finds. So type in find. There we go. With it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open. And it says, okay, what text do you want to find? Remember, open quotes, space, close quotes, because we want to find the space. Then comma to go to the next argument within what text? Well, again, B6. And then that's it. So we can go ahead close that set of parentheses. So we got this set, that set, and then we've got one over here, so we have to close that one as well. And then before I hit enter, see if this makes sense, it's looking in cell B6, and it's counting from right going to left, but as it does so, it's looking at all the characters, which is the len function, and subtracting what it finds, starting from the left side, which counts up to 4 when it gets to that space. So 11, which is the total, minus 4, gives us Clinger. I love numerology. And so let's go ahead and select that cell so we can hover over the bottom right hand corner to get the black cross and then just double click really fast to do a copy and paste and just beautiful. Everybody's got a last name. 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.